knew what inside of this little box is after my last video, you would unsubscribe. Let's go. After babbling for half an hour, or maybe for an hour, I don't know how long my previous video will be, because I'm continuing filming, I am going to show you this, and I'm gonna try my best to explain my thought process, which I'm not very proud of, but here it comes. Are you ready for this? <sighs> I have no words. I have no explanation. I just gravitated towards them. And you know I wanted a carnelian piece recently. This is not a bright red, but this is also kind of a bright red. It's very vibrant and it's not muddy. I saw a lot of these earrings with a muddy carnelian. Oh my gosh, I don't feel my leg. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I don't feel my leg. Oh my gosh. I saw a lot of these earrings with the muddy carnelian, but I never saw them with like a clear, I can see through it. And I'm gonna show you close-ups, of course. The reason I got it with the stupid ant leg in it, it's because I want to see how they, uh, my cat is pushing me um, because yeah, I can't sit comfortably because my cat is right behind me. Um, so I gravitated towards them and I felt like it was the right thing to do. I listened to my gut. They're not as crazy expensive as other earrings from Van Cleef & Arpel, but I decided to wear them during the day in the sun and report back to you on how they wear. Because of that little knowledge that now I gained and you can gain if you go and watch my previous video. You have to watch it. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. It's like quite mind-blowing. So I want to know how they wear. I'm not going to be trying them on. I haven't decided fully. I haven't grown to accept the fact that I um, that I shared in my previous video. Uh, go watch it. Um, but Guys, like, I'm literally screaming here. My leg is asleep and it's trying to wake up and it's becoming all itchy and oh my gosh. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna try them on because when I am not 100% on board with something, I still want to think about it. I went to Rodeo Drive Boutique as well just to check. Uh, they have one pair of these as well. And their carnelian was the same shade, the same hue, but more muddy. It was more like dirty looking inside, so I kept these, of course. Um, I wasn't gonna exchange them, I just wanted to see what other options they have. And I really wanted them because they're in rose gold and because I find them very, very comfortable. So I, of course, I tried them on at the store, but I haven't tried them on at home. I did film some close-ups for you, I'm gonna show them to you. And if I decide to keep them, which most likely 99.9% .9 I'm gonna keep them because I just love them so much. I just love the style so much. I feel like everybody should have a pair of Perle earrings like these because they're so affordable and they're uh, weighty, heavy for their price. So if I wear them in my next video, which will be Thursday or Friday morning, you will then know whether I decided to keep them. And I'm also dyeing my hair slightly darker. I'm using henna for my hair. It's nothing crazy. It's not permanent, but I do it because I have two gray hairs, two gray hairs. And Alex is like, isn't it easier to just pull them out of your hair? And I'm like, no, I am growing each and one of them. And I'm loving each and one of my hairs because of the extensions in the past ruining, ruining my hair. Like I literally almost had like bald patches after removing it in quarantine at home alone with a freaking sanitizer because everything was closed. And that was the way that my uh, hairstylist walked me through. And we did it kind of at home with him on the phone with me. And um, yeah, it still removed half of my hair. Uh, so now I am fighting for every baby hair, every gray hair. I love all of them. So I would much rather use henna and just 
go a shade darker which i love i use dark brown or chocolate and i get my henna from whole foods so next time when you see me i'm gonna have slightly darker hair which is only for a few weeks or a month and we'll see if i wear these earrings with my slightly darker hair or if i wear my um malachite earrings because those will look fire with darker hair i feel like so i hope you don't judge me for getting this let me know what you think guys see the close-ups first and then let me know what you think i love the fact that these are in rose gold um yeah i just really love them the carnelian is really shiny and it makes me really happy thank you so very much for watching if you found this video interesting or entertaining please give it a like subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell also vote in the comments down below whether you think i'm gonna keep them and if i should keep them i can't wait to read what you think bye guys